Hi everyone. I was following along with a thread of tweets the other night that was basically talking about which Jacqueline Wilson book was the most messed up. And honestly, it sent me into a big spiral of nostalgia immediately after reading through the tweets and making my own decision on which book is the most messed up. I went and looked through Jacqueline Wilson's entire list of works that she's written and it just brought back so many memories of the good times that I used to spend reading these books. I basically just wanted to talk about the books and the memories that I have associated with them and I thought it was a perfect excuse to do a tier ranking video which is something that I've also wanted to do for a really long time. So for context I loved Jacqueline Wilson between the ages of about 7 or 8 and 11 or 12. Honestly to this day I still can't think of a better feeling than walking into WH Smith's with my parents as we did every single Saturday and seeing that there was a new Jacqueline Wilson book on the shelf because back then I wasn't following along with Goodreads or upcoming releases or anything like that I mean they didn't even exist Goodreads certainly didn't the best feeling in the entire world nothing has beaten it since and nothing probably ever will beat it so <laughs> love that love that for me that that was my peak honestly though being the Jacqueline Wilson fan was low-key the basis of my entire personality when I was in years four five and six at primary school I just loved her so much she was not only my favorite author but she was also an inspiration for me as i wanted to be a children's author which is something that i still want to do but i haven't made much progress with it so basically the way i'm going to be ranking the books is just based on memory so really it's to do with the impact that they've had on me with three exceptions which i'll mention in this video i haven't read a jacqueline wilson book since i think 2008 the last one that I read was, I think My Sister Jodie, although I've read Cookie as well and I think that one came out after it, so it was definitely one of those two. So I've got my laptop here, I'll just start screen recording and I will get on with it. Okay, so for the tiers, I honestly, okay, I didn't think of very exciting names for them, but I'll just go through them. We've got God Tier at the top, which is my favour faves. Then we've got Love, self-explanatory, Like is also pretty self-explanatory. The three question marks here is books that I'm sort of indifferent about. I can't remember if they had any sort of impact on me, but I know that I definitely read them because I went through her entire list and have only taken the books that I am sure that I've read. Not for me are ones that I feel like I didn't enjoy at the time and I remember actively not liking and then bug off is for anything that I hated. And there's definitely gonna be one thing featuring in there. Okay, and the books I've got at the bottom here. So I think there's 33 books here. And these are the ones, as I say, that I am sure that I've read. They've pulled through in a random order, so I'm just going to go with them in that order. Double Act was about twins, Ruby and Garnet. And I think... Oh, this is where I'm going to be really indecisive because I'm just a really indecisive person. But I guess I can always move them. So I think I will put Double Act into the like tier for now, but I might move it up. I was obsessed with being a twin when I was younger so anything twin related I did used to really enjoy um I really wanted to be the twins from Chief by the Dozen next here we've got Lola Rose oh and by the way I'm using the covers that I remember reading from for the most part because I think a lot of the covers have been remade um but we're not about that we're about these original ones Lola Rose I remember being really dark and I did love a dark Jacqueline Wilson so I'm going to put it into love I can't really remember a lot of the ins and outs of the plot and I feel like I do get it confused with Diamond Girls quite a lot because the covers were similar but I think I loved both of them so yeah Cliffhanger I can't really remember too much about this one either but I'm going to put it in not for me um, to put it bluntly, I didn't really enjoy reading books where boys were the main character and there are a few on Jacqueline Wilson's list that were that and I think all of them are probably going to end up in the same category. Okay, Clean Break, I'm going to put it in love. I really loved this one. It's about a girl, and oh, it's not going to drag up, it's about a girl whose dad leaves the family and the there was an author in it who she was obsessed with and the illustrator drew the author to look exactly like Jacqueline Wilson and I loved that. It might even be in God tier but we'll leave it there for now. I'm going to put it above Lola Rose in terms of my favourites. Okay, Dustbin Baby. This is one that I have really clear memory of reading actually but it might be because I watched the film. It's about a girl who gets found in a dustbin. I'm going to put this in like for now and I'm going to put it above double act. 
Okay, Girls in Love, I just used the first picture, the, first, the picture of the first cover because I can't distinguish any of them from the other. I'm going to put this in Not For Me because I read it really early on in reading Jacqueline Wilson, like I was probably seven years old and these books are for teenagers and I think I didn't understand a lot of it. I do have this book on my shelf because when my friend moved away she had it and she gave it to me. She said that it was very problematic now but interesting to read to see how times have changed and how what was acceptable to be put in a book has changed. So I might read it at some point again, but yeah, for now I'm gonna put it in not for me, but above Cliffhanger. Okay, the Worry website, I think this had an ensemble, like lots of different characters in it, and I did really enjoy books that had lots of main characters. So I'm gonna put it in like, but I'm gonna put it below double act. Vicky Angel, this is one of the three that I have reread since because I read this when I was at uni. I was writing an essay about grief. I'm gonna put it in God tier because it's to me one of the most iconic ones and it's really sad <laughs> in places and I did really enjoy it and I did actually really enjoy rereading it so I'm gonna put it in God tier. Buried Alive, again not for me. I guess I'm just gonna put it here. I feel like I liked it more than Cliffhanger. I'm not sure though. Not really that much to be said about that. The Bed and Breakfast Star, I'm gonna put at the top of like for now. This was about a girl who lived in hotels and B&Bs. I think it was one of the first Jacqueline Wilson books I read. So there was others that I loved more than it, but it's still, still a solid choice. Okay. <laughs> Now we get to the one. Love Lessons is going in the bog off tier. Honestly, I do not know how this book got published and I think my hatred for it comes now as a 24 year old. But I read this at eight years old. All of Jacqueline Wilson's books do have dark themes in them, but this was just too much. So the main character is 14 and then she starts having a relationship with her teacher at her new school. She's been homeschooled all her life, so she's never been in a school setting before and she's also in a really abusive house situation from what I remember but at the end of the book she's basically told to leave the school and the teacher doesn't even lose his job and I'm just like yikes how how was that published how is it still being printed and sold like I kind of want to revisit it because I feel like I did probably enjoy it at the time but thinking back, I just can't. I can't put it any higher than the bog off tier. Okay, next on the list we have best friends. I'm gonna put this at the bottom of love. It was about two best friends as the title would suggest. And I think they had to become long distance best friends. And I just really liked anything that focused on friendship, even from a young age. It's always been a buzzword for me. So I'm gonna put it there because I liked it more than Ben and Breakfast Star from memory, but not as much as Lola Rose and Clean Break. Next we've got Glove Slime and I'm going to put it in the question mark category because I remember reading it, I probably liked it but I don't really have any feelings towards it, like I wouldn't put it in like, it's not something that if I was to reread Jacqueline Wilson, which I do actually want to do, I probably would read the ones in the like category again and the love category for sure but Glove Slime would not be one that I would bother with revisiting. Next we have The Suitcase Kid, which is one that I feel like I get confused with the Bed and Breakfast Start a lot. I can't actually really remember the plot of this. I assume it's something to do with broken families. I'm gonna put this in like though, because I do feel like I enjoyed it more than Glove Slime. I'm gonna put it above the Worry website, but below Double Act, just cause it feels a little bit more iconic to me than the Worry website. Next we've got Candy Flask. This is probably my favourite, definitely one of my favourites. So I'm going to put it in God tier above Vicky Angel. This book was just so cute and it was one of the ones I read towards the end of my reading Jacqueline Wilson career, so to speak. So I think I can remember how much I loved it a bit more because of that. This is one that I definitely want to revisit at some point. How to Survive Summer Camp. I'm going to put in the, mm, either in Not For Me or the question mark tier because I can't remember too much about it. I'm gonna put it in question mark, sort of indifferent above Glove Slime because I have always enjoyed like camp sort of settings in books. So yeah, it's gonna go there. The Mum Minder, 
is another one that I don't really remember anything about. I'm quite indifferent to it. I assume from the title and the cover that it was about a girl whose mom was ill and she has to be a carer. But I'm going to put it into the question mark category because I can't remember anything <laughs> further about it. Sleepovers. I'm going to put in like. I'm going to put it above the suitcase kid but below double act because I really enjoyed this one. As I said with the worry website, I always liked books that had lots of different characters with like distinct personalities. And this was about a group of friends. I think they were like the ABC club, like each name began with a different letter of the alphabet. But there was one that was really horrible. And there was one who had a sister who was disabled. Um, and I just really enjoyed it. I also really enjoyed a series of books that I think were called The Sleepover Club when I was younger. And that was sort of reminding me of that. Okay, next we have My Mum Tracy Beaker, which is the one book that isn't a reread that I've read since 2008 because this came out in 2018. And when you hear that Jacqueline Wilson is bringing out a new Tracy Beaker book, you've just got to drop everything and read it. Although I haven't read the sequel to this. But this follows Tracy Beaker's daughter. And I did really enjoy it. But I don't know. It was... It was weird seeing a character that was so iconic as an adult. The thing is, and we'll get to it when I get to Tracy Beaker, Tracy Beaker was never my favourite of Jacqueline Wilson. Like, I loved the TV series and I did really like Tracy Beaker. In fact, I'm going to put her in there now and come back to my mum, Tracy Beaker. So the story of Tracy Beaker, I would put in like, I would probably put at the top of, I feel like I need to do some rearranging here. I feel like Double Act, I liked a lot more. I liked more than Tracy Beaker. Controversial. Okay, that makes more sense to me now. There, were, there was other things that I liked more than Tracy Beaker. I still really liked her, but I feel like my love for Tracy Beaker really came with the TV series. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to put that there. I may as well do the other Tracy Beakers as well. The Dare Game. I think I liked the Dare Game a little bit more than the story of Tracy Beaker itself. So I'm going to put that here because I really liked the bit when they have to eat the worms. <laughs> But that was because it was in the TV series. Like, there's an episode that's basically this in the TV series. So there's that. Then starring Tracy Beaker, I feel like this was my favourite out of all of them. So this, I think this one can go at the bottom of love. So, yeah. This is purely... I'm just making this up as I go now. But I feel like this one... I remember writing a book review on it for school when I was in year six. So there's that. So my mom Tracy Beaker, what do we do about her? I think I'm going to put her at the top of like, or at, mm, the top of like, for now. Yeah, we're happy with that decision. <laughs> okay, Bad Girls. This was about some girls who went shoplifting. I'm going to put it at the bottom of like, because I did like it. But again, I think it's one of the ones that I read really early, so they weren't like particularly memorable characters for me. Cookie was one of the last ones that I read. I think I would put it in love, maybe here, in love. The Cat Mummy is another one that I don't really remember. So I'm gonna put it here in the indifferent category. I think it was about a girl who mummified her cat though. From what I remember, that I might have just completely made that up. Kiss, I'm gonna put in like, I'm going to put it like here. Kiss is one of the ones that intrigues me the most to reread because this is one of her teenage books and we all know how I felt about her other teenage book, Love Lessons. It just did not sit well with me. And when I think about these, I think about these two books together because I feel like they came out around similar times. But I think Kiss was better. But it was about a girl who was in love with her best friend and then at the end of the book, it turns out that her best friend's gay. I, Jacqueline Wilson herself has come out as being gay so i don't think it would have been handled badly but i'm not sure for the memory of it though i'm going to put it in like and it was probably the first thing that i ever read that had a gay character in it next is lizzie zipmouth and i'm going to put it in indifferent because i put at the top of indifferent because i don't really remember the plot or i particularly liked it but for some reason i have such a vivid memory of sitting in my year three classroom and reading this book and i feel like it was one of the first ones that i read i feel like i must have liked it and then read a lot of the others i can't tell if i've made that up or not <laughs> so we're going to put it there for now 
Okay, the Lottie project. This is this hurts, but I'm gonna put it in not for me at the top of not for me. I just I didn't like this one when I was younger and I don't know why. I, I think it was maybe the historical element of it. I maybe didn't understand it fully or I just didn't want that. I wanted the books about contemporary and the more gritty topics. So I'm gonna put it there, but this is another one that I'd be interested in rereading to see if I enjoy it or not. Jacqueline Wilson since this has done a lot more historical based books, so like she did the whole Hetty Feather series. She's done Opal Plumstead, I think it's called, about a suffragette and maybe some others as well so i would be interested not only in reading this but also in reading the others and like seeing how they compare next we have midnight i'm going to put this in love yeah about there because i remember loving it basically and i went to see it in theater and i really liked that as well the vibe of it i feel like was quite different to the others it feels unique to me it's one that i sort of almost forget about but then i remember and i'm like oh i did actually really love that my sister jody is going to the top god tier honestly it may if it's gonna move is it gonna move not there god tier it may be one of the very last ones that i read but it's one of the best the ending though is one of the most messed up and it was one of the ones that came up very frequently in the thread that i mentioned before but iconic nothing more to be said about it i definitely need to reread that one secrets i'm gonna put in like but near the bottom because i don't really remember that much about it diamond girls i'm gonna put in love i'm gonna put it near lola rose because i feel like as i said i got them confused with each other and illustrated mom i'm gonna put in I'm gonna put around dustbin baby because I feel like these are two that I always think of in like the same sort of way. Okay, let's go through the list and see because I feel like some of these like ones I've changed my mind about since putting them there. <laughs> so in God tier, I'm settled on God tier, my top three. Candy Floss, My Sister Jodie and Vicky Angel, yes. Love tier. So my favorite of the love tier is Clean Break definitely it's not quite a god tier but yeah then diamond girls lola rose midnight best friends cookie and star and tracy beaker then like tier we've got my mom tracy beaker the dare game double act the story of tracy beaker illustrated mom dustbin baby the bed and breakfast star sleepovers kiss the suitcase kids the worry website secrets and bad girls it's just these ones here that I'm not sure if I've got them in the right order. Just been baby through to my mom Tracy Beaker. Do I like Just Been Baby more than Double Act? Even though I said through the whole thing like, oh, I really love Double Act. I don't like it quite as much. <laughs> I actually don't know now. I feel like I like them for different ways. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then the sort of indifferent slash can't really remember too much about my feelings towards them tier we've got lizzie zipmouth then the cat mummy the mum minder how to survive summer camp and glub slime so they're not for me tier we have the lottie project then we have the girls in love series buried alive and cliffhanger and then the bog off tier we have love lessons i think that that is quite representative of my thoughts and feelings <laughs> towards the jacqueline wilson books that i read as a kid i mean really the like tier were all loves in comparison to other books but we have to be critical in this video i am an english graduate after all critical is <laughs> what i've been trained to do and really i'm sure that this sort of video is what my university english degree was intended for uh tier ranking jacqueline wilson books when you haven't read one for 12 years so yeah that is my ranking i'm gonna leave it at that but let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of these let me know what your favorite jacqueline wilson book was when you were younger and if you've read any of those past cookie i'd be really interested to hear what your thoughts are on any of them but yeah other than that that is it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you're all keeping safe and staying well and i will see you again soon bye